regret is going to burn hotter than any fire, the fire of regret. So the hell, do we understand this? We already have understood this, living in this world. Because we use that term hell to fit into any suffering, extraordinary suffering. Whether it's physical or it's mental, psychological, emotional, we went through hell, no? Yes, yeah, the physical, because we're living in this world, is very close to us, and there is, there is a pain that is there. But there is also a pain in every level of understanding that we have also. There is a pain and a hell uh, for people who are proud, uh, which the opposite of proud is being humiliated. Yes? So the humiliation is also a pain. It's not something that is physical, but it is there. And humiliation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has talked a lot about humiliation on the Day of Judgment, especially where people are going to be humiliated. And Shaykh had said that the hell or the punishment begins even before you get into Jahannam. So that punishment now you're talking about, not just the hell, hell fire, but the punishment now. There's just a taste of that hellfire. It is not only on Judgment Day. It can be in the grave. It is in the grave. And beyond that also, before that, you feel that punishment also living in this world. Like this or like that, you will feel Allah will send the punishment or the punishment that we inflict on ourselves. So, And these kinds of punishments, it squeezes us, it burns us. And there's a difference between a punishment from doing something wrong and a suffering that we get from doing something that is right. A punishment that you get from doing something wrong, there is no hope. But when there is a heaviness, a test that comes from doing something right, there is so much hope. And there is a sweetness that comes to it immediately also. You know the reason why. So, may Allah protect us from that kind of a punishment here or hereafter. We are in the way of tariqat. Tariqat is realizing what is this free will Allah has given us. And what we are doing, good, it is coming from Allah, and everything bad, it is coming from our ego. Hmm? So, sit down somewhere. I'm coming to delicate situations, and you're so busy going back and forth, like it's so important. If you don't make a connection, then you don't know what it is. And those who are behind that, if you don't know what I'm trying to, what things are coming down, then you don't care, you, you're making more problems than it is. How many times you're saying, this is a very delicate thing, no? it's coming down and I have to catch it. That you're oblivious to what I'm doing now. That's why you can just do whatever it is. That's not really necessary. The tea is not necessary. Everything is not necessary. When you know he's trying to, what is he trying to? He's trying to open something up. That's why you're oblivious. You're not watching the sohbet too. Yeah, you're recording, but you're not watching it. Like so many hearts, they're just there, but you're not watching. You're not un trying to understand. Okay. So what was my last point? Wake up a little bit. That's all. Wa min Allahu Tafik al Fatiha.